It's not an easy ride for drivers in New Jersey either. Janice Wu continues our coverage from Mawa. There's still quite a bit of snow on the ground here in Mawa. A lot of it is this soft, uh, powdery snow, but of course there's also the slush, this rain and um, snow mixture that is making it difficult for drivers. Now, the roads may look clean, but this is the stuff you need to watch out for because it can cause some dangerous driving conditions. Shoveling the sidewalks, and plowing the roads in Mawa early Tuesday as we saw the first significant snowfall in what's been an unusual winter. Employees of the State Line Diner along State Route 17 worked to keep the sidewalks clean for customers stopping by the 24-hour eatery, something they haven't had to do in quite some time. Okay, good, no? Meanwhile, snowplow operators were out in full force, keeping roads and business parking lots clear of snow. Kevin Cleary has been operating a snowplow for more than three decades, and this season has been quite unusual for him. This has not been a season. <laughs> it's not even a winter this year, but that's okay. Never, won't hurt my feelings if I never saw snow again. <laughs> His workday started at 8 o'clock Monday night, and by the time we caught up with him early Tuesday morning, he'd already put in significant work. It was worse last night at the start, but right now it's just slushy and icy. But um, yeah, I think um, that's what the people don't see. They think it's clear, but it's not. And it's that slushy mix on the roads and low visibility that made conditions dangerous for drivers overnight and into the morning commute. This is video of the drive on Palisades Parkway near South Alpine. As of Tuesday morning, 162 crashes had been reported in New Jersey, and the New Jersey State Police had responded to help 171 drivers on the roads. We even saw a car spin out along Route 17 and an officer coming to the rescue. Schools in Mawa are closed for the day, and public transportation has not been affected due to this weather.